Oh, we're going to 2x your ROI. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to talk about how storytelling can impact your video sales letter in a positive way. Storytelling is a great way to get a reaction out of your audience, whether it's in a positive or a negative way. But in regards to your video sales letter, because the whole purpose of them is to get the prospect to buy something from you, you definitely want to have a positive story. Now, there's so many ways that you can tell stories in your VSL. You can tell a story about how the product came to life. Give my creation you could talk about your childhood. You could talk about a rock bottom moment that got you to where it is you are right now. You could talk about a move. There are so many ways that you could tell a story that's going to evoke an emotion out of the audience. Because at the end of the day, that's what we want. You have to remember that people buy people and people also buy based on emotion and then they justify their actions later. So here are a few great reasons as to how storytelling can impact your video sales letter. Stories have the power to grab and hold attention. And by starting your VSL with a compelling story, it's gonna make your audience a little bit more engaged and you're gonna compel them to wanna stick around longer sometimes even all the way to the end. The second reason why stories are so powerful in video sales letters is because they are relatable. When you share a story with somebody, they can relate to it because a lot of the times we have similar stories. We have similar experiences. And when people are watching your story, you want them to be like, oh my gosh, that's happened to me before. But what a crazy coincidence. Essentially, they can see themselves in the story, which allows them to empathize with the character. So by making your VSL relatable, it's going to allow you to build no like and trust really quickly with your audience. And people don't buy from people that they don't trust. I just don't trust you. One of my all time favorite reasons emotional connection. As I mentioned earlier, stories have a great way of evoking emotion from the audience. And this is probably going to be one of your biggest and most powerful marketing assets within your VSL. And by tapping into your audience's emotion, it's going to make your product and service stand out in a way that is memorable because we're being fed hundreds and thousands of ads every single day. You want to make sure that when somebody watches your VSL, that it sticks in the back of their head and they want to go back and watch it and maybe even rewatch it. You want them to be out on a dinner date or at their kid's baseball game or at a family gathering. And it could be five hours later. It could be a week later. And the only thing that's going on through their mind is your video sales letter. That is the power that you have when you make a connection with your prospect. Which leads me to my next point, memorable. People remember stories way more than they remember facts and figures. So by using a story to sell your product or service, as opposed to saying, oh, we're gonna 2X your ROI, ha ha ha. I have other clients, AKA family members on the line waiting to get in. You're gonna get a lot more people remembering who you are and you're probably going to get a lot more people going to that checkout cart or even just booking a call with you and don't forget there's only a small portion of the population that runs strictly on facts and figures because to them computers and algorithms don't lie i touched base on this a little bit in the first video but stories have an excellent way of demonstrating value by telling a story that demonstrates value of your product or service and what it is that you're offering you're able to give your audience an excellent audio visual experience that's going to allow you to be as creative as possible in order to put the best demonstration possible for the product or service that you're selling. And in most cases, if your story has tons of wow factors in it, it's going to get that person to buy your product over the other person's product, even though you both are selling the exact same thing. Wow. But most importantly, and this is the one biggest mistake that I personally see with a lot of people doing, is that they don't make their stories in their video sales letters relevant to the product or service. What? 
what? Everybody has a lot of stories, but nobody wants to know the story about how you scraped your knee and then all of a sudden that got you to become a coach online. Do you see how there's no connection there and it almost feels like there's a bit of a disconnect and confusion? Oh my God, yes. Yeah. My background story comes from the fact that I have been brought up and raised by a family of entrepreneurs. We were in radio and television broadcasting. I didn't want to get into that but I slowly realized that I loved the limelight. I loved the spotlight. So I ended up getting into DJing and music production instead of going into television and radio broadcasting. But what I noticed through my journey is through being a performer and being an entertainer is the fact that I just simply wanted to make people happy. So now how can I tie in me wanting to make people happy into what I'm selling right now? Well, for starters, you hire a professional videographer that's gonna to put together a video for you that's gonna convert into sales, that's not only gonna make you happy because you're making money, but you're also gonna be extremely happy because you're gonna get a product that you are proud of. And that's the short list of what I can get into as to why I want to make people happy, but you get the point, right? God, yeah. So by using storytelling effectively, you can create a more compelling and persuasive VSL that resonates with your audience. And they're gonna wanna know more about you. They're gonna wanna know the man or the woman behind the VSL. Heck, they're probably gonna buy your product. And if they do buy your product, you're a happy camper. And by being a happy camper, it allows you to do whatever it is that you wanna do which is the number one thing that most entrepreneurs want is financial freedom. So this was part two of the four part series on video sales letters. And if you wanna make sure that you don't miss a beat, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you next week when we talk about how to structure your video sales letter. Peace.